The Brahmaputra, or the Yarlung Zangpo in China, is one of the longest rivers in the world. Starting in the Himalayas in Tibet, it enters India in Arunachal Pradesh, then passes through Assam, Bangladesh, and empties into the Bay of Bengal. The Brahmaputra, a perennial river, is the lifeline for communities along its banks. The dam is to be built on the river in Madog County, where it drops by 2,000 meters, making it an ideal place to harness hydropower. This region is located in the Tibet Autonomous Region, governed by China. According to Chinese officials, the hydroelectric project in Madog County is part of the country's renewable energy generation initiatives that will help China achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. China also hopes that this project will pave the way for development in the Tibet Autonomous Region. In 2010, China began constructing small dams along the mainstream of the Yarlung Zangpo. Two of them have already been completed, and at least three are under construction, according to reports. The proposed new one is the largest of them all. The new dam could generate up to 60 gigawatts of power, three times that of central China's Three Gorges Dam, which has the largest installed hydropower capacity in the world now. The new dam could provide 300 billion kilowatt hours of clean, renewable, zero-carbon electricity annually. Being upstream, China has a clear advantage in building dams and other infrastructure to store or divert the flow of the river system. There is the potential to significantly change the flow rate during times of standoff between the countries. India has urged China to ensure that the interests of downstream states are not harmed by any activity in upstream areas. Meanwhile, India is considering building a 10 gigawatt hydropower project in the Dibang Valley in Arunachal Pradesh to mitigate the adverse impact of the Chinese dam. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe.